one of the cheapest 48 volt battery kits online that I could find. It's got some impressive specs and features and a crazy good price tag. But is it any good? We aim to find out. One of my favorite things to do with these golf cart batteries is to use them as an expansion for portable power stations. They work super well if you just want to expand the capacity on the cheap for, you know, at home backup or better still, like RV on the road kind of backup because golf cart batteries are rated for high vibration environments. And so you can very easily do something like I've got right here and expand the capacity of a portable power station. And this actually gives me almost double the capacity that two of the OEM expansion batteries for this unit would give me. Plus I'm getting, you know, Bluetooth app monitoring and this awesome charger. I've got uh, more in-depth information on how to connect this to power stations in a different video that uh, I will leave linked down in the description. We've got uh, two epic packages to open from DC House. In this smaller one here we've got uh, some documentation for the battery charger that uh, is right in here. A little pigtail with some ring terminals and a connection point, weatherproof connection point. And here's the battery charger itself. Nice metal housing, heavy duty. It's a 48 volt, 18 amp charger. Technically, I think it, uh, char it says it charges up to 58.4 volts at 18 amps. It looks like we got some good goodies here in this big box. We've got uh, some documentation. They have the cells in a special compression system to prevent uh, the cells from swelling at all. And then this is one of the metal case batteries, so you get uh, a lot more you know, fire protection, heat dissipation, and just general protection compared to it being in plastic. Got a series of uh, pieces of documentation for both the battery, the app, and the battery monitor. You got a little baggie of uh, mounting hardware. I believe that uh, hardware goes with this screen and its little mounting bracket here. We've also got uh, terminal uh, bolts and terminal covers. And here's the battery. I'm going to get it out better so you can see because this looks way different than every other golf cart battery I've tested. Check out how clean and nice this is. So this is like my favorite form factor plastic ones, but uh, in one of the better metal cases, which I really like. Here are the two terminals. Really nice integrated handles on the end. Got uh, our on off switch and there's the plug for the display. Let's do a quick capacity test on this DC house. 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. We'll be using the Victron Smart Shunt to measure the capacity. And you can see here on the app, I've zeroed everything out. All right, fast forward a couple hours and the capacity test is completed and check it out. We pulled 102 amp hours. So this DC house uh, battery uh, completely crushed the capacity test. Let's talk about the screen for just a minute on this battery. First and most importantly in the manual, on page five, it explains that the Bluetooth on this battery can only be connected to one device. This is a Bluetooth connected screen. The only thing its wires do is get power from the battery. There is a port on the battery for a hardwired display if you would like. And that may be advantageous depending on your priorities. And the reason being is because the Bluetooth can only be connected to either the phone app or this Bluetooth display. It cannot be connected to both at the same time. I have another Bluetooth enabled battery here that's actually a 12 volt battery. So that's what I'm currently monitoring with this display. But it's the same regardless. The only thing that would change is the voltage. Notice that the voltage is listed up here at the top. Again, I've connected to a different battery besides this one just uh, for demonstration because I'm going to show you the app momentarily. 13.3 volts. Of course, it would say, you know, 51.2 or whatever if it uh, were connected to this battery. Then it gives you a state of charge indicator. In this case, it's saying 100%. It gives you right here where it says zero, zero, that's the amp draw. You also have temperature, 19.2 degrees Celsius. And then notice this big uh, colorful meter. It's kind of like a state of charge indicator. And, uh, you know, green is good. Once it starts getting yellow and red, you know, get uh, ready to charge. So it's pretty bare bones, simple display. Uh, pretty cool though, that it's kind of universally compatible with any Bluetooth smart battery. Let's just uh, show you the app here for this battery. It's a very simple app. Add it uh, via Bluetooth and uh, we just tap on it. So it's very simple. It just gives us a battery percentage readout and that gives us the voltage on the left side and then how many amps are either coming in or out and then uh, right below that in the list it tells us how many watts 
or coming out status, whether it's charging or discharging or in standby mode, how much capacity and amp hours remaining, estimated time remaining with the load, and if the battery temperature is normal or not. Across the top, we have the home option on the data. It basically gives us everything that's on the home screen with the bonus of down here at the bottom, we can see all the individual cell voltages. And then on notification, if there's an error or a problem, uh, it will tell us here. And that's the app. Very straightforward and simple, but uh, gives you uh, the information that you need to know. So let me tell you why DC House brings a lot of value to the table. You can see I've tested uh, a lot of different kinds of golf cart batteries uh, recently. I think DC House, though, has found a sweet spot to really check all those boxes at a really, really compelling price. So you could get a battery like this, ABS plastic, same uh, capacity as the DC House. The DC House, though, has a metal housing for the battery that has ABS plastic higher fire risk, safer construction with the metal housing. The price point is where this shines. Currently, before any coupon codes or anything like that get applied, at the time making this video, this DC house battery is selling for just under 800 bucks. There's a cheaper option here, this uh, orange and uh, white colored one, and usually it sells between 800 and you know 750 bucks. Almost identical pricing to this, but this one you get the superior metal construction. So I think you can get a lot more value for your dollars with the DC house as opposed to one of the plastic cased batteries. Let's take a look inside this DC house battery. Ooh Need to smell a vision or something so you guys can get a whiff of the interior of this battery. <laughs> Here's the BMS, slightly smaller than I typically see on a battery like this, but it's uh, seemed to do the job at least uh, for me thus far. I do like that uh, all the cables have the added, you know, abrasion protection wrapped around them. That's very nice. They've been very liberal with their goopy glue stuff. They do not want anything coming loose at all in shipping. We've got uh, this insulating board between the BMS uh, compartment up here and the cells down below. And it's actually glued in, so uh, this will be about as far as I'll be able to tear into this. They are using a 2-gauge positive cable, which is great to see. And then we have three 8-gauge cables coming off the BMS for the negative terminal. All the connections seem to be solid. Nothing seems to be moving around or anything. So it uh, is a just, you know, basic smart battery. One of the reasons I love these types of batteries is a lot of the time you can get them bundled with these awesome chargers and it's not really that expensive. So it's a 48 volt, 18 amp charger. The cool thing is it can accept 120 volt input or 240 volt. So it'll work with any device under the sun really. And it's made out of this very nice strong metal. And I believe I saw somewhere that uh, it even has an IP water resistance rating, which is pretty sweet. So let's plug it in here. So it takes just a couple of seconds and the fan uh, turns on to keep the charger cool. And on the end right here, we've got a indicator light. When it's flashing red, that means it's kind of doing a bulk charge. And then uh, as it's uh, slowing down and uh, topping the battery off, it'll start to blink kind of a green color. And then when it's 100%, it will just be a solid green and uh, the fan will you know, shut off and whatnot. But if we just take a quick look here in the app, you can see it's dumping in almost 17 amps of current at the moment. So it may look small, but it's a pretty beefy 48 volt charger. In terms of specifications for this battery, obviously it's a 100 amp hour, 51.2 volt battery. Uh, but uh, in terms of the charge and discharge current, the recommended rate is 50 amps. The maximum continuous rate is up to 200, which is pretty standard for a quote unquote golf cart style battery like this. And then just in terms of dimensions, the case is approximately 19 inches long. However, you would want to add approximately two and a half inches to that to factor in the protrusion of the terminals as well as this uh, screen port and the vent. It's approximately 10 and a half inches in depth and approximately nine and a quarter inches tall. And it weighs in at just about 100 pounds. So let me know down in the comments if you guys would buy this. And if not, why, what, uh, what reason? Because it really can't be cost necessarily, because this is one of the cheapest options in this class that uh, I can find out there, especially with the awesome metal case. That just brings a lot of peace of mind, I think. Let me know. 
I always say the smartest people are in my comments section and I love hearing from you. I'll put links down in the description to this and uh, any discount codes or anything I can get. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hype the five free things that really benefit the channel. I'm on a quest, you guys, to find you the best solutions for your future power needs because it's probably not going to be a natural disaster or anything that uh, forces us all to be independent power producers but rather just a, a lack of upgrades to the grid or whatnot may not happen but boy it sure looks like we're headed that way so anyway more great content on the horizon can't wait to show you and we'll catch y'all next time